Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you say Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes Everyone's going through something what it do, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. You guys, I was not trying to give y'all three readings back to back like that, okay? I don't know what happened. The last reading was supposed to come out to like 9 or 10 and shit. I looked up and it's already pre aired okay? So, you guys got an extra bonus reading this morning, okay? Because I was not trying to give that many at one time. Hey, it is what it is. All right, you guys. So, let's get into it. We're going to pull some messages from your higher self. We're going to see what's on your mind and what's on the person that you're dealing with. What's on their damn mind? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? What they thinking about? If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about me, Scorpio, will be in the description box below. All right, you guys. Let's go. So the first card we got, Scorpio, is how long is this separation going to be? God damn. Okay, somebody was like, all right, now I knew we was going to be in separation and shit. And I figured it was going to be, you know, for a couple of months, maybe a year. But I feel like this shit done lasted way longer than someone here expected. Okay, so somebody knew there was going to be a separation. This could have been you. You knew you was going to have to walk away from this person, Scorpio. But you damn sure didn't expect to be in separation with their ass for no three to five years. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I feel like, Scorpio, some of you guys are, are trying to figure out what can you learn from this situation. Maybe there's somebody you're dealing with now, or there's a, a conflict or something that's arise, and you're trying to figure out, like, what can I learn from this situation, okay? Or there can be somebody in your energy, Scorpio, they're trying to figure out what are they supposed to be learning? What's the fucking lesson here, okay? Maybe you guys feel like the reason why you haven't come back into union is because there's a lesson you know, to be learned, but somebody here isn't learning the lesson. But like I said, someone here is trying to figure out, like, what am I supposed to be learning, you know, from dealing with this person? Am I trying to control the situation or outcome the way that I want it to happen, okay? So, Scorpio, some of you guys could be thinking about, hmm, maybe I am trying to control how this happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, how this person returns to me or, you know, this and that, Okay. So I feel like someone here can realize, you know, they can have some control issues. Scorpio, we have control issues sometimes. I, I'll be the first to admit it. You know what I'm saying? It's not wanting so much to control people. Should I be trying to control how shit go in my life? <laughs> I be trying to be in control and shit in my life, and I ain't got no control, okay? So Scorpio, you have no control over this situation or the outcome. The only control you have is if you say no. You know what I'm saying? But you still can't control, even though you say no, don't mean this person gonna be like, yes. Okay, what well, Destiny Child say, you're gonna be saying no, 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 no. And they're gonna be like, yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tell us more. So somebody here could be trying to maybe someone here is seeing, like, okay, maybe I do like to control shit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to learn to stop trying to be in control of every damn thing. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpios hire yourself or their person that they're dealing with? What's on their mind, Holy Spirit? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Ooh, am I being too sensitive? Okay, so Scorpio, you can be a little bit emotional, okay? Or somebody here could be feeling like shit, their emotions is like, what's that song uh, by this? I want to keep thinking about this and child. Emotions running and I think it's somebody's emotions, okay? So somebody could be feeling like their emotions got them all caught up, okay? And it's like anything somebody say or do, like they may just be on edge and they snapping or crying or just feeling very sensitive. So somebody could, like maybe they wasn't as sensitive as they used to be, okay? Somebody could be learning more about how to be vulnerable. I know that's something I'm still learning, Scorpio, because even when I had to shed my little tears and shit on, on YouTube, I don't be liking that shit, okay? <laughs> So if somebody could be feeling like they're too sensitive. They're like, uh-uh, everything shouldn't fucking bother me. Like, everything people say and do, like, that shit shouldn't, shouldn't bother me as much as it is, okay? <clears throat> Hold on, Scorpio. Yeah, I was a little cool this morning. I don't know, but that shit sure got my shoulder hurt. Like, I can't even, I ain't even got my bra strap on, y'all. I can't even wear 
I still not able to wear a bra on this shoulder yet. And I don't think I will, Scorpio. It's like sometimes I can wear one, but I cannot ever for a full day wear this bra strap on the shoulder. At some point in time, my bra strap is a little down here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to expose myself with. Just letting you know, because I know I got my titties right here, so I know y'all like, shit, one titty up, one titty down. Yeah, Scorpio, because I ain't got no bra strap on, okay? <laughs> shit, we family. I'm going to keep it real, hell. What, uh, what young Jock say? I know you see it. Shit, you see this motherfucker over here with a lopsided? Yeah. All right, messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. Ooh, okay, then, Scorpio, we have, have I truly healed? So some of you could be feeling like you thought that you had healed from this person, a situation, and then fucked around and something that triggered you. And this is, could be why you're feeling like, well, maybe I'm being too sensitive. Maybe I ain't healed. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, Scorpio, I thought I had healed from my twin. You know what I'm saying? But there are certain things that still trigger me to this day. You know what I'm saying? There's triggers for Scorpio. I got pet peeves, too. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like something that you can be being triggered right now could be reminding you or letting you know that you still have some more healing to do on this journey. All right, let's get one more. And then let's see. We're going to pull from the regretful divine masculine here. If I don't do what people want me to, am I okay with them being mad at me okay so somebody here could be realizing they're a people pleaser and maybe everything that they don't did in their life scorpio they really did that shit to please other people this could be your energy this could be you like somebody could be realizing like they never really did anything that made them truly happy okay every every decision that they made every choice that they did it, it was always because of other people like someone here has realized like shit have i ever been truly happy you know what i'm saying have i ever did what i really want to do because i feel like Someone here doesn't like people being mad at them, okay? So this is someone who rarely says no. You know, this is someone who wants to people please. They don't want people mad. They want people to be happy. And for sometimes, shit, it may make this person feel good, you know, to, to, to be a people pleaser. But I feel like someone here is thinking like, okay, if, if I tell such and such no, like, are they going to be mad? They're going to be cool with it? Or am I going to be okay with people being mad at me? All right, messages for my Scorpios. Let's pull some messages here. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I regret acting like I didn't love you, knowing good and damn well that I did. Okay, so somebody that you was dealing with, Scorpio, they love the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? But this person didn't treat you like that. I feel like for some of you guys, this person treated you like shit. You didn't even know what this person liked you. I'm feeling a lot of hot and cold energy from this person, okay? So somebody acted like Scorpio. They didn't like you. They didn't love you. They really didn't care about you. They didn't have feelings for you, okay? Somebody was real nonchalant with their actions towards you, okay? But this person knew they love you, Scorpio, but they act like they didn't, okay? Oh, wow, okay? Someone here regrets getting pregnant by someone else, okay? So, Scorpio, you can be dealing with somebody that Fucked around and got pregnant by somebody else while you guys been in separation. You know, they didn't, for some of them shit, maybe they didn't think you guys were going to return, you know? Or that, you know, you guys were going to be a thing again, okay? So they could have been dealing with other people unprotectedly here, okay? And got pregnant by someone else. Now this person may feel like, shit, you ain't going to never return to them because they carrying somebody else's child, okay? This supposed to be your child they was carrying, but they fucked around. And got pregnant by somebody else. Someone regrets that they didn't talk to you. All you want this person, Scorpio, to do was communicate with you, talk to you, let you know what what's the real. You know what I'm saying? Let you know what 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 Mary J. Blige say. Let me know the four one one. Let me know what's up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta play no games. We ain't gotta do all this shit. Just let me know what's up. And this person didn't communicate with you about shit. This person didn't communicate to you about their feelings, what they had going on in their life, their history, their background. You know, this person, they just gave you the bare minimum. I'm feeling like real breadcrumb right now. Like, I'm feeling this shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person, for some of you, like, what you wanted from this person, I ain't going to say what's the bare minimum, but it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? It was communication. It takes nothing to communicate with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It was the bare minimum, really, what this person could have did, and they didn't do that shit. 
Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, look at this. Somebody, Scorpio, never reached out when they really wanted to talk. Yeah, they didn't communicate. You want this person to communicate with you, Scorpio, when you were dealing with them. And I feel like you just want this person just to reach out and just talk to you. But I feel like somebody was stubborn as hell. That ego, baby. That ego wouldn't allow this person to do shit. They showed not allow this person to communicate with you because they wanted to. Every, I feel like this person, Scorpio, would... Go to your number, you know what I'm saying? Hit the little slide thing, the hit call or something, and they would just, something would just always make them put, like they never would follow through with shit. Someone was toxic as hell when you was dealing with them. And I feel like now someone realizes, I feel like because they was in a toxic situation as well, okay? Somebody here may not even know what the fuck toxic meant. But now that they done been in a toxic situation, they say, oh, they know what that shit is now. And they regret that they were in this energy because they see how when they were toxic, how they how they did you, how they treated you, how they came off. You know what I'm saying? Someone could have walked out on a family. You could have shared a family with someone. This could have been baby dad, baby mom. You know what I'm saying? You had a family with this person. Y'all could have stayed together. Had like a family dynamic, you know, and this person walked out. They felt something else was better than what they had at home. You know what I'm saying? And they regret that they wasn't there for the family. Mm. Someone, Scorpio, told you that, that they did not want to get married. And this is exactly what this person wants to do. They want to be with you. They want to marry you, okay? But they told you, Scorpio, they didn't want to marry you. They could have told you, Scorpio, I only want to be in a relationship, you know? Maybe y'all talked about marriage, and it was like all of a sudden this person, like, they got cold feet or they chicken out or they just up and was like, you know what, Scorpio, I don't even really think I want to get married. And he was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? What the hell, bitch? We should be talking about this yesterday. What you mean? And Scorpio, somebody lied on you. Somebody I feel like went to your family, your friends, like people that you fuck with and told this lie. That's fucked up, too. I feel like somebody lied on you about what you doing or some things that you had going on. But somebody lied on you. And I feel like the people they went to was the people that you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it wasn't going to get back to you. All right, Scorpio. Let, oh, we got, oh, my bad. And we got somebody, Scorpio, that regrets being jealous of you, okay? So somebody, Scorpio, was jealous of you. They was jealous of what you had, okay, what you look like, your job, your money, everything. This person was jealous of you, and some of you... This is your person, the person that you love, the person that you want to be with. This was this person that was jealous of you, okay? So let's look, let's go to the lessons. We're going to end this, end this reading with the lesson cards, okay? We're going to see what kind of lessons this person needs to learn to get out of this energy, okay? We're going to get like two cards. Messages for my Scorpios. What lessons, Holy Spirit, does this person need to learn? What do they need to work on here? This could be you as well, Scorpio. Y'all take it how it resonates, okay? What lessons need to be learned here, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. Ooh, okay. Guilt. Discipline. I see it too. And trust. Okay, we're going to take it. Guilt, okay? Someone here needs to release any beliefs that no longer assist their soul's growth. So someone here had a belief system that was very detrimental to their growth, okay? They could they could have believed that she one of such thing as a spiritual realm and spirituality was was nothing but you know some old some old, you know, what they say, like some uh some old witchery and black, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here, it's like they're feeling guilty because I feel like their belief system didn't allow their soul to grow, okay? This is someone who really needs to grow, have a transformation from the inside out, okay? Someone here's soul needed to grow and expand. But because of their belief system, how they grew up, this could have been some things that this person was taught from childhood, you know? Or it was just this person's mind that there wasn't, they were a know-it-all, you know what I'm saying? And when you're dealing with a know-it-all, it's hard to convince or... I ain't even going to say convinced. It's hard to get through to somebody that feel like they already got the fucking answers to everything, okay? Someone here needs to learn to be more disciplined. 
Okay, be disciplined in your routine, be disciplined in your in your work. Because I feel like someone here never really, like someone here is a good starter, but they don't finish it, okay? This could be a cardinal sign, or maybe you have some cardinal sign placement in your chart that can be Aries, uh, Cancer, Capricorn, and Libra. Or you can be dealing with one of those signs, okay? Someone here needs to learn to be more disciplined, okay? Someone here has great ideas, but they don't follow through with them shits. You know what I'm saying? Someone here has a great mind. They are great. They, they come up with some good ideas and good stuff. They don't follow through. And if they learn to follow through, like somebody here really could be amazing here, okay? We also have trust. Someone here needs to learn to trust their intuition. There's an inner voice that's always talking to us, okay? And it's going to guide us correctly. A lot of times we be going back and forth like, is this what you, this what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes. Is this what you heard? This is what you're supposed to be doing. Because there's an inner voice inside of you that's always going to lead you in the right direction. Now, sometimes we got two voices. We got that good and that evil. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we choose the wrong way. Then we got to suffer the consequences. But someone here really needs to learn to trust their intuition because I feel like someone here is hard for someone to make a decision. Like someone here is very indecisive because they don't trust the things that their intuition tells them. All right. So let's see what signs we're talking about. We got, damn, Heavy Cancer, Libra, and Scorpio. We got Pisces, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius. And we got Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, and Aquarius again. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.